I feel like my backstory would be interesting to you guys. Um, I lived in Virginia for about set about probably around eight or seven years, and so I had a lot of many family complications on that my side of the family in Virginia. So I had to move to Kentucky for, and I've been living here for about like eight or nine years. And so whenever I moved here, it was really hard for me because I lived in Virginia for so long and I knew a bunch of people who lived in Virginia and who really I looked up to. And so one teacher I looked up to was Mrs. George. And see, she taught my favorite subject, which is math. And so one thing that she told me was, when you give up in life, you give up on all your goals and there would be no reason to go in society and try to achieve them. And so I gave further thought into it and I was like, well, what does that really mean? And so I looked farther into it. And so I met a whole lot of new people and I bet my friends have met a whole lot of new people because I have, re I was really upset whenever I went to Kentucky because I knew all my friends probably done forgot about me because they have met so many people new and so they're probably in high school right now and so they probably don't even remember me and so then that's when I had to achieve to get past that and achieved to get past that slight depression because I realized that and so thing about it is I realized that whenever you go through society you're always going to meet new people and so and it depends on who you meet and it also depends on what type of impression that you leave on them because if you just leave a negative impression on somebody that means that they're most likely probably not going to help you or they'll try to help you, but I mean, you're always going to leave a negative impression. So, I mean, there would be no point in really trying to get them to help you. And so I've learned that you always have to be positive to people because that's how you make friends with new people. That's how you make acquaintances. And that's how you, you guys become really close in high school because um, y'all had positive and negative things that happened to you but over time you guys have learned how to cope with them and so there's really nothing that can break apart your bond even though it seems like it there's going to always be ups and downs in, in your life and so another thing that I learned from that saying my teacher gave me was that there's always going to be failures so you never have you never give up and I felt like, to be honest, I felt like giving up from time to time, but I've realized that there is really no point in giving up because you won't be successful in this society. Because this side, society works in a way to where either you're successful or you're not. And so I've learned that. And also another thing is, is that there are always going to be failures because when there's failures, that is actually getting you closer to your goal. Because it makes you think, hmm, what can I do better to achieve and get closer to my goal? And so that makes you think. And even from my sister's experience and my experience, it's true because my sister has told me that even after she's out of college, she's out of college now and she's out of college. She's been out of college. And so the thing is, She's told me she still has struggles and failures and so that she's really having struggles with her life. So I totally understand that. And so I tell her, oh, don't give up and just stay strong. And so then, and then another person I think for me being able to make it to senior year is God because I wouldn't be able to get here without him. And so the thing about it is I'm telling you guys this because I've been where most people were who I've talked to because they seem well no one they told me that no one has been in their footsteps and shoes and so yeah I really have and so I know it seems really upsetting because you got people who downgrade people for the way they are well I mean they they have had past experiences and 
some people can't understand that but i understand that and also the thing about it is i've been so down in the deep sometimes to where i felt like giving up but the thing about it is you can never give up and i appreciate every single one of you guys and all my teachers um because transitioning from high school to from from middle school to high school it was been really hard but all my teachers in middle school and high school have been really great to me so far and so yeah there's i thank them for that and i thank all my friends too because my friends influenced me and so there's really everything's going good for me right now and so and if you just stay strong everything's going to go good for you guys too and so i hope to see you guys successful in the future and i appreciate you guys every every i appreciate all of you guys for taking time to listen out to this video because and i hope it's inspiring to you thanks